Hi guys, Greg Dyer here. I had this other thought this morning, and I pulled this one from my book, uh, Follow Your Bliss, A Guide to a Powerful Mindset. And um, it was the thought of, what if there's nothing wrong with you? And why that showed up for me today, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it might have been that, you know, I found myself in those thoughts of, you know, making mistakes or whatever, and there must be something wrong with me, I'm attracting all of this, or whatever it is to me. But what if there's nothing wrong with us? What if there's nothing wrong with me? And I hear you guys. I mean, I, I can feel it. It's like this energy of like, you know, but, but Greg, my, my thighs are too big. My face is too fat. My eyes are in the wrong shape. Or, uh, you know, I made this mistake at work. Or I always attract the wrong people into my life or whatever. I mean, something must be wrong with me. What if nothing's wrong with you? I had this little interesting discussion with the universe, if you will. And it went like this. I just had this thought. I was like, universe, you know, I trust you. And the universe answered back really fast was, are you sure? Are you really sure you trust me? Because I've given you everything that you've asked for, and yet you still question. And it made me think about that for a minute. Am I going in the wrongness of me when things show up that maybe aren't necessarily something that I would like to have in my life? Abraham Hicks calls this the contrast. And the thing is, is that we do bring all of that into our lives as well. We are provided everything that we ask for. There's nothing wrong with us. Absolutely nothing. We, we set our lives up exactly as we ask them to. And it's not that we're wrong. It's just that we get stuck in these thoughts that may not even belong to us. We get stuck into the stories of, of what society is telling us we ought to be and ought to look like and the things we ought to say and the people we ought to be with and all of this grand stuff that seems to fit into perfection. And when we don't hit that, there must be something wrong with me. But what if we looked at it from the other standpoint, the other part of this whole thing, that you are perfect exactly the way that you are. And I'm perfect exactly the way that I am. And we operate it from that standpoint. What could we create for our lives from that point of view? Instead of always going into the wrongness of me or the wrongness of you, what would you create? Think about that for a little bit. I'd love to hear your, your comments about that. What did this stir for you? Put them down a little bit below. I want to read them. I just I would love to have your feedback. Anyway, I am Greg Dyer. Thank you guys for watching again. And um, I'll see you the next one I do.